So I got a video request on my Ryzen vs. Intel streaming performance controversy video asking me to show off the real quality difference between x264 software encoding and a fixed function encoder like Nvidia's NVENC. Real quick, here are the settings I used for each encoder. Without further ado, let's jump into our first test. We're going to start off with Minecraft, and while the edge quality on both streams looks perfectly fine in areas of high contrast, you'll notice that the NVENC stream has lots of blocking and artifacting between similar colors on things like the grass blocks, something that doesn't happen on the X264 stream. When we watch it back in slow motion, you'll notice that the NVENC stream has a significant amount more blocking and artifacting whenever something moves on screen. This is caused by the encoder's heavy use of B-frames. If you don't know what those are, it's to do with video compression, I'll link a Wikipedia article in the description. Now let's move on to something a little bit more difficult for the encoder, Skyrim. I chose the opening scene because it contains lots of basically still shots as well as lots of very quick camera pans. This shows off that NVENC can look good as long as the camera isn't moving too much and as long as there's not too many fast moving objects on screen. As soon as the camera pans quickly though, you see a sudden drop in quality and it's actually quite jarring. Watching this scene in slow motion, you'll see that the player's view gets shaken around a lot and there's lots of extremely fast moving objects on screen. This causes the NVENC encoder to drop in quality massively, while the X264 one stays basically the same. It's these types of scenes that prove to be the biggest challenge for fixed function encoders that use B frames for their compression. Now we're going to move on to our final and hardest test, Far Cry 2. What we're mainly looking at here in terms of quality are the grass and the trees. We want the most amount of definition possible so that they don't become a blurry mess. While neither one does particularly well, you can see that X264 still holds its lead. NVENC has an especially hard time holding on to the detail on the dirt road. This test more shows that neither encoder is very good when it comes to highly detailed games. The difference is that X264's quality settings can still be pushed farther if you have a more powerful CPU, while NVENC is basically stuck where it is. All is not lost for fixed function encoders though. If you really don't have a powerful enough CPU to do X264 encoding, then try these tricks to improve your stream quality while using NVENC. Use a software like CPUID's Hardware Monitor or MSI's Afterburner to check your GPU's VID or video engine usage. If you've got some headroom while you're streaming, then try increasing these settings inside software like OBS. Make sure that your encoder is set to NVENC and change the preset to high quality. Turn down the B frame amount to zero and make sure that two pass encoding is on. This will greatly help the quality of the stream, but it still won't put it at the level of X264. These settings that I showed off at the beginning of the video are certainly not the best you can do with X264. They're simply the highest that I can run on my i5-3570, meaning you can run them on basically any modern i5. If you have something with higher multi-core performance like an i7 or something from AMD's Ryzen lineup, you can definitely turn up the settings and get a much higher quality at the same bitrate. The point of this video wasn't to just try and show that NVENC is useless, it definitely isn't. For local recording at higher bitrates, it will have basically the same quality as X264 while impacting your gaming performance much less. And it's especially useful if your CPU just can't keep up with X264. It was more to show that NVENC is not a replacement for X264. Especially when live streaming, when you have a very limited bitrate to work with. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today. I actually managed to make a short video for once. If you dislike this video, well, then hit that dislike button. But if you like the video, then don't forget to leave a like and get subscribed if you wanna keep up to date on all my latest content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.